for today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys five pieces of important advice to know before you move out on your own. with another video for you guys for today's video I'm gonna be giving you guys five pieces of important advice to know before you move out on your own and these are things that I learned um, it may be different for other people but this is what I could think of um, and they were really helpful or they would have been really helpful for me to know before I moved out um, but yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the video I want y'all to be ready when you're ready to go. So let's just start with that first piece of really important advice. And for me, this is really the most important one. So before you move out on your own, make sure to save, save, save. You really want to make sure like you have your emergency money and then you want to use you know what you have in your checkings and I did not want to touch my emergency money so that was my whole thing so like I had emergency money but I was running out of checkings money so I was like dang I really want to you know so make sure y'all save because you, once you get in here you're really going to want certain things um, and you might be like, oh, well, I can get it once I get there. I'll get it a month or two or a week after. But then you're going to be like, you know what? Dang, I really want it now. Um, and that's how I was. I'm not going to lie. But I got it eventually. So that's OK. <laughs> make sure that when you are looking for your own place, make sure it's something that fits your lifestyle if that if you understand what I'm saying like make sure you can afford it basically you don't want to go and live somewhere that yeah you may be able to afford it for a month or two but then the next few months come you like dang I'm a little sore or you know so make sure it's in your budget it doesn't have to be you know super duper 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 fancy and expensive just make sure it's in your but price range no bugs you know it looks good all of that so the second piece of advice is to make sure that before you apply you go to the actual location and ask them about their rates or you call them and ask them about their rates because I was just looking online and I was like you know what oh these look good this looks good and it was saying one price online, but then when I actually went to fill out the application, it said another price. So I called them and I was like, hey, like, what's going on? It said this, but it's this. I don't know, you know, what's happening. And on top of that, they also might be running a deal or some kind of special. Now, usually it says that on their website, but if it doesn't, they may be willing to work with you or say, hey, Maybe I can do this or maybe I can do that. So make sure you call, talk to them, you know, do your research, I would say. I also want to let you guys know to ask them about an application fee. I know, I didn't know there was an application fee, um, but I was just like, okay, whatever, I'll do it. Some are actually really expensive and some are not that expensive. Like there was one place that I had, um, saw and their application fee was like fifty dollars or something um and then another one was like a hundred and something dollars so make sure you do your research check out to see how much application fee is and i'm only telling y'all this because these fees start to add up like i didn't know about any of this stuff so once it actually like once i actually started doing the process i was like wait a minute i have to pay how much for that okay whatever go ahead and then another thing would pop up because I didn't know about that fee either and I'm like oh my gosh but it was cool it was fine we got through it um so the next topic or the next piece of advice that I'm going to give you is going to be once that once you are in your apartment you got approved you're there you're getting everything set up this is where I started to get 
really really stressed out once you get in there you have to pay um a deposit i ended up having to pay a deposit um and it just varies on how much it costs like it could cost you a hundred and something dollars or however much but it could co also cost you like a one-time payment of something and that that part just depends on um your credit and all that kind of stuff but it's still good to know and i will all think about spending more then I would less so I would budget in way more even if I okay say I'm only paying a one-time $50 deposit that I don't get back I'll act like I'm paying this 200 and something dollars that I'll get back at the end of my lease um only because I'd rather budget in more than what's necessary just to make sure that I have enough and that I'm gonna be okay so I did want to make sure that y'all knew that. Now on to the fourth piece of advice. So this kind of goes into with the third piece of advice when I was talking about all of the different fees. You also have to make sure, like I started to get really, really stressed out once I actually got approved and was able to get in here because I didn't know about renter's insurance. I didn't know about... Um, the light bill and all of this stuff like being separate and having to call different people and it was just so much so the fourth piece of advice is to make sure that you understand and you see what's included in your rent um i knew what was included and everything and i asked when i came to tour and all that kind of stuff but it really didn't hit me like all the different bills and everything that i would have had to pay it really didn't hit me until i got approved and i was sitting down and after i got approved and i talked to my mom she was like okay now make sure you call this person this person this person this person and i'm like wait why <laughs> Um, so yeah, I thought it was just like, oh, they'll just send me a bill, a separate bill. Like, I didn't know I actually had to set up an account for something, do all of that. So it was a lot. So make sure y'all do know that. So that is my fourth piece of advice. Make sure you know what's included. Also, that includes pet fees. There may be a one-time pet fee, but each month on your rent, it's going to be another fee, like a set amount. So that's a good thing to know is trash included will they come pick up your trash or you have to take your trash out how often do they come pick up your trash so make sure you include that um that sometimes there may be a parking fee so also make sure you look through that make sure you have everything set um so some apartment complexes might have some kind of garage or some kind of um parking system where they have like numbers on the space and then you have to pay for your parking spot so make sure y'all look into that too so lastly and lastly my fifth piece of advice any fee that you can pay up front gets paid up front like I know insurance you can pay that one time insurance amount and it's done for um so if you have the option to do that and if you can do that i recommend and encourage you to do that just because it kind of takes a little bit of um relief off of you you don't have to worry about another bill that you have to pay that month i know for me this is my first apartment this is my first time having to pay bills so for me when i got here and i had got everything situated I was a little bit overwhelmed with having to pay. Yes, I had to pay rent and there were certain things included in that, but then to have to go to another website to pay another bill and another website to pay another bill, it was kind of like, dang, did I pay this one already? Okay, did I pay this one already? And then it's like, once you pay one, they're already sending the next one, but you don't have to pay it until the next month. It's so weird. It's kind of confusing at first, but once you get the hang of doing it on a set time every month, you kind of get in the... Um, getting the practice of it or the hang of it so it becomes less overwhelming and more just like a routine like oh, okay i could do this oh, okay i got it oh, okay i'm comfortable so that is definitely a piece of advice that i want to give you i also wanted to tell you guys to um oh shoot there was something else oh also another fee that i didn't mention that is included is internet so sometimes internet will be included in the rent but other or not in the rent but sometimes you can order like your internet service through 
your apartment complex and they'll include it with your rent so make sure you figure that out because sometimes if you get cable from a different company you can have them come out and set it up before you get there so everything is fine i didn't mind the day of when i got there um and it wasn't too bad the guy was a little rude and was trying to be nice towards the end but for the most part everything was cool everything was fine um i think that is the last piece of advice that I wanted to give you guys. Doot, doot, doot. Let me make sure. I think that's it, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to comment and ask me any questions that you like. This is my first apartment. If you, you are planning on moving out and need some more information or tips on how to go about certain situations, feel free to um, comment below or DM me on Instagram anything i don't care i can help i can try and help you at least um so yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one